simplify this one, the first thing um, probably to do is just to recognize that this entire thing, because these are both negative powers, this entire thing could just be thought of as one over those to the positive powers. So I would start by doing that and then just distribute this into both of them. So 64 to the 1 sixth. 64 to the 1 sixth. We'll talk about how to simplify them in a second. And then what do you do with the 1 sixth and 2 here? Multiply them. So x to the 1 third. Remember, this is all over 1, all under 1, I should say. And then 2 fifths. Again, we'll talk about that in a second. 32 to the 2 fifths and x to the what? Second, multiply. Okay. So I can see right away that my x's are going to be what do I do with x to the 1 -third and x to the 2 thirds? I add them together. So that's x to the 2 and 1 -third, which is 5 thirds? No, sorry. That's not five thirds. What is that? Two and one thirds is seven thirds. Seven thirds is two and one thirds. So how do I do this one? Well, 64 is two to the what power? Sixth power. Whoops, I, did I put one half? This should be one sixth right here. That's two to the sixth power. And so really I have 2 to the 6th power to the 1 6th power, so those cancel and I just have 2. So this just equals 2. And 32 is 2 to the 5th power, but you're raising that to a 2 5th power, so multiply these together, because now we have exponents, right? And those cancel and you just get 2 squared, which is 4. And now what can I do with the 2 and the 4? Mm -hmm. Those are being multiplied together, so multiply 2 and 4 and I just get 8. And there's your answer. Or you could write it if they want you to write it with a positive exponent. Or, sorry. Or you could write 1 eighth x to the negative 7 thirds. You could also write it that way. Either way would be correct, or I guess it depends on how your teacher wants it. <coughs> Got it? Yeah.